negative indices okay so so far we uh, talked about positive indices right like 10 to the power plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 9 all of those are positive indices right now we will we'll talk about negative indices so these are very small numbers right 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.000053 and all of this these are very small numbers or numbers less than 1 so if the number is less than 1 you will have negative index okay so for example to write the first one in standard form 0. 0.0006 will be how much in standard form uh, 6 times uh, negative 10 uh, power of negative 10 to the power of uh, negative 4 1 2 3 4 yes 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 so how did you get negative 4? Uh, the, this, it goes backward. Yes. So uh, when you say 6, uh, it is actually 6.0, right? Yes. So the decimal point is here when you, say, when you write 6. But in the question or in the given number, the decimal point is over here. So you have to move the decimal point. How many times to the left? How many places to the left? 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? Yes. And that's why you, you put negative 4. Fine. How about uh, B? B uh, B is uh, 5.3. Times 10 power of 5. Negative 5. 10 to the power negative 5 very good because if you write 5.3 the decimal point is here so you have to move it 1 2 3 4 5 times to the left so 10 to the power minus 5 similarly you can do all the others right yes okay let's skip that write the following numbers in standard form uh, standard form oh okay yes 6, 6.8 times 10 power of negative 4. 6.8 times 10 to the power negative 4. Yes. Ah, very good, very good. Okay, 6.8 times 10 to the power negative 4. Then B. Uh, 7.9 7 7.5 times 10 power of negative uh, 7 10 to the power minus 7 right good yes. good yes very good then uh, uh, C, C. 4.2 times 10 negative 10 10 to the power negative 10 because 42 into 10 to the power minus 11 is 4.2 times 10 times 10 to the power negative 11 so that's 4.2 times 10 to the power this is actually 1 so 1 minus 11 minus 10 okay correct so can you do D or uh, do E 5.2 times 10 uh, 10 negative 10 power of negative 11 ah very good so here you write the first number as 5.7 times 10 to the power negative 2 and then you multiply that with 10 to the power minus 11 so that's how you get 10 to the power minus 11 okay good then write the following as ordinary numbers 10 to the power 10 raised oh, sorry 8 to the power 10 raised to minus 3 0. 0.0008 0. 0.0008 like this mm, okay 0. 0.008 
two zeros. Yes. Eight into ten to the power minus three one. Yes, this is right. Okay. How about uh, C? Uh, Uh, zero point zero zero nine three zero like this yes sir oh no uh zero point zero nine zero three zero point zero nine zero three right yes yeah if it's ten to the power minus two that means you have to move the decimal point two places to the two places to the left to the left. So one place to the left, you will have it here. So that's like point nine zero three. One more place to the left means you have to add a zero here. So that's how you get point zero nine zero three. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's do one more D. Zero point uh, zero zero point zero 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 zero. How many zeros? Four. Four zeros and then one zero one, right? Yes. Ah, very good. That's how you do it. Deduce the value of n in each of the following cases. Okay, this is also exponential equation, right? Yes. So how will you find? Let's do a. n is equal to negative 4 ah oh, brilliant it is negative 4 how negative 4 uh, uh, from 2 uh, from the left side two, two so the number on the left can be written as uh, 2.5 2.5 times 10 power of negative negative 4 10 to the power negative 4. Okay, so that is equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power of n. So n is minus 4. Okay, how about uh, b? Negative 3. Negative 3. Very good. Uh, how about d? This 1.6 times 10 power of negative 5. So n is negative 5. Very good. Okay, how did you do that? Uh, 0 0.004 power of 2 equals to 0 0.0016. 0 0016. Like this. Yes. No. No, no, no. There's more. Uh, uh, no zeros. No zeros. More, more. More zeros. How many more? Four. So zero point zero 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 one six. One six. Okay. So that's one point six into two three. Just a minus five, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can also do this like, see, instead of this square, it's the same as four into four. Uh, four into then this minus three, right? Yes. This square, so that's sixteen into ten raised to negative six. Minus six, so that's one point six into minus five. Write these numbers in order of magnitude, starting with the largest. So, what you need to do is, ah, okay, it's already in standard form, right? Yes. So it's very easy, right? Um, which is the largest? Uh, uh six point eight times. 
power of 5 is the largest. Okay. And then 6.2 times 10 power 3. 6.2 times 10 to the power 3. 3. Then. And then 8.444 8 uh, times 10 power 2. Huh. Mm -hmm. uh, 4, I mean 32. No, no, 64. What, what, what? Oh, wait, 32.3.2 10 negative 3.2 times 10 to the power negative 4. Ah, huh. and 6.741. We are doing or we are arranging this from largest to smallest, right? Yes, so is this the right order? Which one should you write first? Should write the bigger one first, no? Uh, but isn't 32 bigger? It's, it's not 32, it's 3.2. 3.2. Oh, okay. 3.2 should come here, no? Yeah. Then. Then. Uh, when... 5.8 times 10 power of 7, negative 7. 5.8 times, uh, yes, and then? And then 5.8. Yes, yes. So that's how you arrange uh, it in order of magnitude.